Good morning. Uh, hi, good morning. Good morning to uh, to everybody, my uh, my AFI members, my fellow entrepreneurs. Magandang umaga po. Uh, this is another interesting um, podcast. Uh, habang naghihintay tayo ng liwanag, liwanag at magand- isang magandang umaga sa pag natin. Uh, at least we learn something. Uh, we don't waste our time. Uh, we become uh, productive. Uh, through this kind of activity. Uh, good morning, Rolly. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, I am now in front of the window. At I kita kung napaka-clear ng sky, kulay blue. Makes me feel good, no? Are you also near the window, George? Ako. Ako. And actually, I never, I, uh, I always neglected my window. Uh, window to me is just a... The hole in a in a house when you want to see uh, someone or something outside. Ngayon, my window is a sign of hope <laughs> and yeah. uh, a sign of hope and love. And you can I can really appreciate the sun, the trees, and the birds. That yeah. mm-hmm. okay. makes us feel good. Clarity say that this outbreak. This epidemic and this now pandemic is not really a problem, but is an equalizer, uh, yeah. a go-getter for a new dimension, a new phase. Do you agree? Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. That's true. Oh, so Rolly, um, yeah. What is our topic? Nga? A topic natin is. Um, topic natin is ano, technology solutions in the midst of isolation. And we've got good speakers, no? Galeng, Good, good work. Oh, oh good yeah. work. We have security pero, pero, bank, no? Security bank, yeah. Mm. Uh, when we have our partner, no? Sige, go. Okay, sige. So, I think uh, I'd like to introduce the, our panel of uh, resource persons today, you know? And um, first and foremost is... Uh, representing the telecom industry, we have Andarid, Segment Marketing Head of Glow My Business. Magandang umaga. George, Hi, magandang morning. umaga, Rolly. Morning. Yeah. Morning. Magandang umaga. Okay. So, Anne, how are you? Fine. It's a lovely morning. So, nakatingin din ako sa window. Yun ang sinuwento ni Tanina. And it's a blue and Actually, cloudy sky, so it's a beautiful morning. Diba? It's Good the morning. window. The moment you wake up every day now, ever since na- na quarantine or lockdown tayo, it's always the window. Think it, think, think it over. It's always the window. It's the best hmm. view. The best view. At this point. Uh, yeah. Okay. We have another resource person representing the banking industry. We have uh, Mr. Jones Jokta, SBP and Head of Cash Management Services, Security Bank Corporation. Welcome, Jones. Good morning. Hi, Jones. Good morning. Hi Good morning. everybody. I do one better. I'm outside the house, para not window. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's very nice. Good morning. Okay, so the, these are the the service. Uh, these are the companies have been uh, on ongo- with their services ongoing since the onset of the quarantine. So they did not stop, and I would like to hear from them about what's uh, on what's in it for the public and how do they make use for the betterment of our situation right now. And then our next two speakers will provide the solutions. You know, your mga digital services have always been a solutions provider from the business equation or whatever supply chain, and they are here now to knock the, the line. Okay, so representing the startup community and digital solutions, we have Carlo Calimon, Director of Startup Village and CEO of MobCard. Welcome, Carlo. Hi, Rolly. Good morning. Uh, hi, George. Hi, Anne. Hi. Hi George. Uh, happy to be here this morning. Uh, ako walang window at this point. Dito off the room. Pero mamaya, magpapaaraw tayo mamaya. 
<laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, happy, uh, happy to see also our AFI members. Uh, good morning to everybody that's listening out there. Morning, Jones. And uh, we have uh, last but not the least representing the Limpreneur community, the people who are employees who jump into entrepreneurship. MSMEs and Digital Solutions, please welcome Jerry Ilaw, CIA, CPA, and Founder and Head of Learn Learning Platform and Pass Up the President. Welcome, Jerry. Hi, uh, Rolly, uh, Sir George, and to all Hello. our speakers. Hello. <laughs> Dito naman tayo for the AF Empower Forum. So welcome, everyone. Welcome, Power, and you are. Okay. So welcome everybody on board and uh, for the benefit of our audience and I'd like to greet our audience now since this week also shared on B81 Radio, our radio network. So we'd like to uh, good morning to the OFWs no? and uh, since the API are all retailers, welcome to the retail stakeholders who are now watching online. And of course, uh, since we are digital, welcome to the online buyers and sellers. And since uh, all of you are now global, so we'd like to say hello to all our global linkages, local partners, and of course, the general public online. Magandang umaga po. At ngayon, sinasahin pa po yun na namin ang RP Forum number 6. Nakahati namin sa dalawang segment. Yung segment kong isa is, how are the existing companies who are not, who are exempted from the different items uh, as mandated by the government to get out and help the people out there. What have been they doing and what are the recommendations so that things can now move on as if nothing happened or as if nothing is uh, nothing to be worried about. So that's the first segment. The second segment will be about the solutions that our digital services leaders ought now to present to the public that they can now avail of this, make use of this as if their life is on a normal stage. So for our first segment, we would like to call on my Globe My Business, represented by Anne. And uh, second is uh, uh, Security Bank Corporation, represented by Jones. And of course, our president, uh, the, the, the one, uh, George Vilke, who will represent all the MSMEs and APS. So I'll start, Raleigh. No, I'll give you the first start startup question. So I'll read it. Huh? So given the accelerated levels of community quarantine, which happened in a snap of three days and continuing on its 10th day, 10th day na ngayon eh, yes. what were the contingency measures you immediately adopted for yourself, for your family, and for your company? Any commitment you promised them. So we can start ladies first. We'll have oh, uh, Ann. Oh, nga. The first well, well, definitely we have to abide by what the president mentioned, right? That we have to be um, on lockdown, at least in our homes. And the good thing is that Globe um, supports that. And we have a campaign, in fact, which is stay safe at home. So um, currently, the most essential thing you need to have is internet connectivity. And therefore, um, we have to provide that to our um countrymen. So at this point, um, we have a skeletal force in Globe, mostly the frontliners and the support people. The corporate people like me are in our homes. We've been working really hard to, you know, um, to communicate uh, what we have. We're continually um, churning out programs to help um, everyone. In fact, um, to, um, we have several initiatives that we've already um, lined up, such as providing Go Wi-Fi connectivity in um, airports, na IA 1, 2, and 3, um, hospitals in Metro Manila, as well as supermarkets. So that will run until April 15. And at the same time, um, we've already also um, requested for support, especially for PGH, um, wherein we've requested um, <coughs> subscribers to donate um, their uh, rewards points. Um, to help uh, the 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 aim of PGH to support the frontliners, so that's for Globe. How about you? When you first heard about it, were you surprised? What were your initial feeling? 
Okay, so we were supposed to have a Team A, Team B set up. I was part of Team A. In fact, I was ready to go to work Monday with my team. Um, but when they, they announced that we had to be um, in our homes, um, that's something that I really had to adjust to. Uh, so what I do is I set an alarm every morning. So that's um, at 7.45. We usually it's at 6, but since... I don't travel anymore. So we usually have a, parang, uh, a get together at 8.30 call time within the whole marketing team so that you can, you know, talk about what you're supposed to do for the day, uh, catch up, etc. And then, siguro naman, I was able to um, um, do groceries, <laughs> at least for my family. <laughs> Kasi yung talaga, I'm a mother, um, and that's why um, it's important that, you know, basic necessities are in inside your house. So that's that's it. It's very good that you were able to align your priorities because, as siyempre, yung mga tao, they're, they're confused. Now, what will I prioritize? Economy, my work, my family, myself. So at least you mentioned that you've, you've done it all along, di ba? Step by step. Yeah. Yeah. And about Globe, so as a company, what did Globe commit already to the to the society? So as mentioned, um, Globe is um, the first initiative that they, we really did was to defer um, the we did a thirty day bill payment extension for all subscribers. So that's um, that's something we did. I remember. Uh, around March 16. And then, as mentioned, the free go Wi-Fi in hospitals is very important at this point since we know for a fact that it's the most um, social distancing is not uh, happening in the hospitals at this point. And therefore, they might want to uh, communicate with their loved ones and their family members. Um, as mentioned, also the rewards points validity was extended from March 31 to June 30. So at least those are the initiatives we're currently um, we've already launched for the customers. Thank you. But you know, since Globe is part of Ayala Corporation, Ayala has already done so much. No? So it has given its employees 2.4 billion package. Yes. So every Ayala employee, Globe included, will receive their salary ahead of time or on time during this period. Yes. And. Uh, your company also has donated a lot to the Ugnayang project where they will give the money so that us, the frontliners will have enough food and uh, so many basic necessities. Yes. So we're also encouraged to donate via GCash. So if you have GCash, please um, open your app and you can donate for the front, for our frontliners. Okay. So this is more a personal question. So uh, since Globe is a big company, because it belongs to the Ayala group, no? What will be your advice for those with small to medium workforce, especially the micro? Okay, so as mentioned, we proponent kami ng, ano, no, ng, ng stay safe at home. And therefore, um, as mentioned, essential is really having internet. So um, internet means a fixed broadband or could be a prepaid internet. So meron kami yan pareho. At the same time, um, what would be good is kung meron tayong unlimited calls and texts to other networks, which you can also avail. Because at this point, what's important is kung ikaw ay micro-business, kailangan mo nakikipag-usap syempre sa customers mo, sa colleagues mo, sa employees mo, how they are, are they safe, di ba? Um, maganda rin time to engage via social media. Why? Because you can get... Um, feedback, reaction, maybe this is also the best time to um, provide special offers since um, we really have to be compassionate at this point in time. Uh, maganda rin siguro to get um, new ideas, concepts from your customers. So ito talaga yung best time to engage and be more productive in terms of um, fixing the basics since um, alam naman natin, majority ko na rin ng restaurants ngayon, no dine, dine in, right? And the malls close practically. So, ito yung time to fix things, paperwork, um, inventory, in fact. Um, those are the things that um, 
you might want to do um, at this point in time. And the good thing is, there are solutions that are available that you can use. Um, ang very classic is when, for example, you want to touch base with your customers. Um, there is such a product called an auto SMS blaster. You can send, for example, you have a member base na 5,000, 10,000 customers. You can blast them one time. Like, kung kang special COVID-19 offer, you can do that uh, immediately. Um, at the same time, you can also... Um, yung, yung mga social media, yes, yeah. getting reactions using your social media. Ito, uh, mas wala kasi labas ko. Right? And then, um, also, um, this is also... As mentioned, the best time to collaborate. Uh, pag sinabi ko collaboration, there are licenses. So partners like um, Google or Microsoft would have collaborative tools na pwede sila, for example, nagre-review ng inventory nila at the same time. And you can access files at the same time. Tapos, last but not least, kung ganito ka, kung medyo techy, like what we're doing right now, di ba? There are also tools na pwede talaga kayo mag face-to-face -face, um, discussion. So meron dyan Zoom. Zoom is a free license. But if you want a pro, which, which kunwari gusto nyo talaga um, a longer talk time, those are services that are available. Google Hangout is also something that you can use, di ba? Para lang kung gusto nyo talaga, uh, in fact, for nari hiring kayo, you want to interview people during this time, then that's the best tool to you so that medyo may face-to-face -face engagement also. Um, that's it for now. Okay. So thank you, Anna. So George, ang pinakamagandang regalo ng Globe Eye Connectivity, external factors not considered. That's every maraming factors siya for the continuity. No? But uh, the, conti the connectivity gift is very excellent and it's being appreciated by a lot. How about you on your part, George? Uh, do you think uh, uh, things are getting well because of that gift? Oh, and all the other network, okay, for this crisis, kasi, all of them, of course, na una si Globe. Globe has announced that they will not cut and they will extend. And then, of course, everybody follows, no? But I'd really like to salute them because communication is co and connectivity is very important in times of crisis okay so that's why initially that was my fear my fear was what if putuli nila okay you connect the connectivity what's gonna happen to the whole community okay this is very important in communicating with my people okay we can i, I mean we can always do remote control things through communicate through connectivity and communication kahit di ka na lumabas ng bahay so it's very important and uh thank you globe thank you for all the telco for doing this okay yes i second the motion <laughs> at syempre napaganda ng sinabi ni Anna at this point in time planning and collaboration can be done at your pace in a very good setting I say you're working from home, no pressure, and then you have the fun parts of your home. Yeah. As ever, and Globe Day would like to congratulate na as ever, you've done your advocacy activity, reward, uh, donating your rewards points for the PJs, the primary hospital of this COVID-19. And you're an advocate of the stay at home, which you have the uh, texting, putting in your text brigade and messengers brigade all throughout since the onset. Maraming salamat, Anne. Thank you, Rolly. Thanks, George. Okay, at syempre, okay, and thank you. Okay, at syempre, narito naman ang ating pangalawa, no? uh, uh, may side tayo ng female ka para maging balance with the side of the male and representing one of the biggest bank in our nation, Security Bank, this welcome, Jones, and we would like to hear your, resp your response on this. George! Good morning. Uh, ano ba ako? Banking industry representative? Good morning. <laughs> oh, oh. Kasi, no, no, no. Siyempre, you're one of the biggest bank, no? Mm. Okay, you want me to repeat the question? Okay. Okay, so... No, no, no. Um, uh, it's okay. Bigla, bigla lang nag-post kayo sa... sa ano ko eh. So, but can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, I can, we hear, can you. hear you. 
Okay, okay. So yeah, um, I guess uh, uh, for everybody's um, uh, comfort level also, um, nasasabi na naman yan sa, sa news and everywhere else, uh, we will ju just reassure everybody that the banking industry, um, like we are part of the whole exempted thing like pharmacies, uh, groceries, kami yung isa sa pillar doon na lagi kaming bukas, okay? While not 100%, but uh, most banks uh, are open to service you. Um, basic services, obviously, na mararamdaman natin, ano, uh, ATM, nakawithdraw naman tayo, uh, lagi namang may pera yun. Um, uh, some, most branches are open, uh, hindi lahat. So, um, I guess for Security Bank, you can view that in the, in the website. Uh, or sa Facebook, but for most banks, ganun rin. Sumilip lang kayo sa website. Day-to-day, -day, may announcement yan kung anong branches ang bukas. Okay? Uh, while we are trying to operate uh, for you, uh, we are also balancing that uh, not to be reckless uh, with uh, our people as well. At the same time, with the limitations on transportation. Uh, sa mga empleyado nga namin sa branches, yung iba dun, pinapasundo na namin. Eh. Uh, hatid sundo, hatid sundo para lang mabuksan yung mga branches. So, um, uh, I guess that's uh, the, 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 the simplest takeaway here is that we are here to service you um, and the money is there. Uh, don't panic by panic withdraw. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you have, but uh, uh, it will be available every day uh, when you need it. So, so you don't need to, to, to hoard money as well as we do uh, groceries. Okay. Um, uh, on the continuity, so that's on the branch level, but on the like parang um, how, how, do, how do banks ba operate their um, uh, operations or head office para masuportahan lahat? Uh, what we did, uh, like Security Bank is one of the first, uh, even before the ECQ, uh, nag-split operations na kami agad uh, to prepare. Ano sabihin nun? So iba-ibang parang sinasabi kanina ni Anne sa Globe, may Team A, Team B. Meron pa kaming Team C. So para pag may na-infect na isang building namin, uh, operations, etc., IT, uh, tatakbo pa rin kami on other sites. Okay? So that's what we did. And then uh, yung iba also, pina-work from home na namin para yun yung parang Team C. Para uh, lahat C, um, uh, uh, to operate. So thanks also to the people like Globe and other tech uh, uh, telco, uh, we're able to operate through VPNs, through internet and everything else. Um, so we can also do remote control uh, operations. So um, I guess that's the um, what's happening in the banking industry now. Unless you have uh, questions, uh, Rolly, George. Okay, so maraming salamat, Jones. No? So ang pinakamaganda mong na irigalo ng security bank ay ang inyong availability servicing no? 24-7. At syempre, kasama dyan ang ATM at ang payment Papa. services sa lahat ng mga binibila namin. Jo, ah, ang kagandahan sa sinabi ni Joel, yes, sir. The, bank, the banking system is very strong. Okay, that's uh, no, giving us assurance. Yes, you know? the whole system. And also, uh, what he said also is, please, the whole system is very strong. That's good. That's very, uh, ano, uh, insurance sa amin yun. Number two is that please don't, panic, don't withdraw. Okay, masama kasi panagkaroon ng bank run, di ba? John, ano ba epekto nito, panagkaroon ng bank run? <laughs> no, hindi naman po. Kasi yung, yung, yung bank, bank run is a, is a different uh, animal altogether. Ito lang naman uh, more than the, kunyari, the usual ngayon, mag-withdraw ka ng 2,000, 5,000, yung iba, uh, 10, 20. Okay lang naman yun. Uh, we have so much supply to, to support that. So, uh, people shouldn't worry. Great, 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 great. Uh, uh, I would like to ask, as a, as a company, what did Security Bank already uh, did on a step forward basis uh, regarding its employees or some other uh, part of the society? The, the, the whole society. Uh, well, Apo, yung, um, well, definitely for the clients, uh, aside from uh, maintaining operations and making sure that you are uh, 
uh, serviced. Um, uh, we also uh, did the waivers of like mga interbank transfers muna ngayon uh, kasi nga kailangan mo magpadala ng pera sa mga pamilya uh, and kamag-anak and kaibigan. So I think most banks did that already. And then um, uh, like on the payments for credit cards uh, and loans, so nag-extend na rin. So parang ginawa rin ng Globe. So I think the iba-ibang industriya nag-delay na ng payments uh, uh, collections para lang maibsan natin yung mga worries ng kababayan natin at this time. Uh, how about the employees of security ba? Uh, are you uh, oh, the, are the management uh, assured? Oh the yeah oh, definitely in in fact uh, 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 our 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 bosses our management uh, gave advanced uh, credit already for uh, yeah, last week pa for the for for March so they have, they gave the support to everybody so tuloy-tuloy naman ang uh, sweldo namin so far so happy naman yung mga security <laughs> bankers <laughs> yeah. including the, sure. uh, the, the Lilo workers the JO workers the Bemp workers uh, may question ako. May question ako for the yes. banking industry, especially security bank. No? I'm sure a lot of people are watching now. Uh, most most of them are the small, medium-sized entrepreneurs. No? Uh, can security bank, are, is security bank already planning to have a bounce back program for the entrepreneur? Like a loan with a low interest. That's one. Number two, uh, okay. For the existing loan, uh, of course, um, you're going to help us uh, restructure, no? restructure uh, the loan if ever may mga loans kami, no? sa security bank. Do you have these programs with you at this point? Uh, well, I'm, I'm sure that will be a major uh, topic in the next few weeks. Uh, I think lang now, sir, uh, every, we're so busy uh, making sure that services are up and running. Uh, at least the basic ones, para lang ano. But uh, maybe we'll we'll update you when the time comes, when everything normalizes, and then we can uh, uh, get to that. I'm sure our loans people will uh, will will take care of that and uh, uh, take care of the clients. Basically, yun naman yung yun naman yung aming uh, uh, atika in is uh, matulungan kayo. So, uh, bakit pa ipipilit na mahirapan? So, I'm sure some restructuring or some adjustments will will happen in the future. Oh, kasi alam mo, um, well, sad to say, kasi. Um, as entrepreneurs, especially the uh, the medium size and small size that start up, are always relying on cash flow. Eh. Cash flow, of course. So this is the tenth day already. Kumbaga, yung cash flow na may para sa gripo sinarad sinarado siya. Ngayon pag sarado yan, wala pa mga pasok na pera. So tayi ipon yung mga kailangan o ano bayaran. And I'm pretty much sure. Okay, correct. If, correct. If we restart everything, we reboot everything. Okay, a lot of my fellow entrepreneurs will be needing money to restart and to give life to their businesses. Eh? Under, uh, yes, understand. Yeah. So in kaya nga importante sama sama tayo dito when we get out of this uh, mm -hmm. and support each other because uh, ultimately your success is everybody's success. Uh, uh, the, the banks will not be here if there are no entrepreneurs like you to begin with. Uh, so, I, kailangan talaga namin kayong tulungan na bumangon uh, uh, also. Uh, I'd like to say hi to Tita Bing Limhoko. Good morning po. Tita Bing Limhoko, good morning. Kaya marami tayong dapat batiin, George, uh, Eric, Mike Kaen, Dean Park Slapping nanonood, and then Rhea Buner, and uh, Lin Lin Eve. And um, Jam Jam, <laughs> binabasa ko lang. Helen Gusilio Herman, Bry of Misa, maraming salamat. Raleigh Vargas from California. And then uh, Remy Sambiga, EGR, Julius Hasmenya, Carl Bonares, Raela Cardot. 500 of them are watching, bro. so uh, we will uh, greet them later on. So, maraming salamat, Jones, and maraming salamat because you've done two things. Siguro yung push na, an activity na to will be done in the next few weeks, no? And then, so we can assure our entrepreneurs, micro, yes, medium, and small. If, 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 um, uh, that's if I, another thing. Correct. Ah, yeah. uh, sige. So, oh, I... Really, sorry. If, if, uh, yeah, um, there... 
I don't want to pre preempt uh, if you're going to ask uh, solutions or mamaya pa yung topic natin. Uh, we, we would like to ask you now, no? What are the digital solutions okay. that Digibanking is okay. now offering the mom? Okay, so th that's the key takeaway and uh, learnings for a lot of people uh, the past few weeks, okay? Um, uh, marami pa tayong mga uh, 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 kumpanya na maraming manual processes, okay? So this one, it was an eye-opener to a lot of people na to go digital, okay? Uh, these services, uh, the electronic banking services uh, for individual, for SMEs, for uh, large corporates have been there for years. Uh, 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 paying uh, government agencies o paano ko babayaran si BIR paano ko babayaran si Pag-ibig si PhilHealth, si SSS um, so for a lot of SMEs um, it was a, a realization uy, pag may nangyari palang ganito sa kuna, nahirapan tayo so I guess that's the key takeaway is to take advantage of all those services um, uh, both for disbursements and the uh, collection side of your cash flow um, uh, isang simple uh, example na lang, uh, uh, ito, experience to ng maraming corporates. Uh, di ba, uh, nag issue ka ng check -e pag sa mga supplier, Nyari, yung mga supplier mo for the food stuff, for the equipment, etc. Um, uh, Security Bank, we have a service to um, automatically uh, uh, cut the checks for you and then uh, release the checks to the suppliers po, di ba? And then kaliwaan ng OR. So th that's a good semi or semi um uh, automated way of paying so you'll just send us the file kung sino ibabayaran kami na mag issue ng cheque kaya lang now you realize na even yung pagbigay ng cheque sa suppliers ninyo pagkuha ng OR is a challenge now uh una ang yung mga messenger nga hindi na makapunta para kunin yung cheque um so nahaharang na sila yung service providers ng mga banko who release the checks uh, nagsasarado rin so so there are a lot of challenges. So, an, an ag live na, uh, na sa Banko Central, um, for most banks and especially security bank, you can already do interbank transfers. So, hindi ka na limited sa check eh. Okay? Kaya lang, um, so, kunyari, supplier mo within uh, security bank, uh, we can credit, obviously, auto credit. Uh, kung yung supplier mo nasa ibang banko, uh, we can still do that. Uh, th that's a uh, uh, same day transfers naman yan. Okay? Ang challenge na lang, and this needs uh, um, actually uh, cooperation from uh, the business owners, uh, kinaka-official receipt. Um, yun yung problema natin sa existing scenario natin and, 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 and rules and regulations ng BIR. Kailangan mo muna, nafo-force tayo, kunin mo muna yung resibo bago mo bayaran or, or kaliwaan, okay? But we have to change that mindset. Yung ibang ginawa ng mga kliyente namin, o sige na nga, i-credit ko na yung account mo, padalam mo na lang sa akin yung resibo. Tapos ginagawa na lang nila, o pag hindi mo pinadala yung resibo, hindi na kita muna babayaran sa next cycle ng, ng sa supply payment ko sa'yo. So something like that, we can be creative eh. But uh, I guess the key take here is that maraming digital options for us to do transactions. And uh, and uh, let's take uh, advantage of that. So yun yung pagbayad ng suppliers, uh, pagbayad ng sweldo, pagbayad ng government payments, uh, even utility payments. That can all be electronic now. Even yung makikita mo yung billing mo, we have that service, utility e-payments. Uh, even yung pagbilling mo galing sa Meralco, uh, sa Tubig, etc. May kita mo yun and then we'll, we can automatically debit your account and pay the bills. So those are services na, na you can take advantage of uh, to make sure that uh, uh, everything you can do online, <clears throat> hindi ka na kailangan pumunta sa banko kahit bukas, at least you can limit the risk and uh, uh, you, can, you can basically do online. Gano so that's, John, I guess John. that's my message to uh, everybody. Uh, yes, John. yes. Okay. Uh, all of that are in the past now. Eh. Okay. In the past. Do you have a system now? Yeah. That we, like for example, I have an account with you, okay, security bank, okay, uh, paging uh, your bosses, uh, I had to open an account because I'm the president of API, okay, 
I have an account in security. <laughs> thank, right? thank you. Okay. I, but I, I'm not a believer of digital banking. So, lesson learned para sa akin. So, now I'm in the house. Okay, I'm in the house. I love what you're saying, the, the benefit, and etc. But how can I transform now my banking norms into digital norms? Naasa bahay ako. Do you have that program now? Uh, yes, uh, for existing account holders, you can uh, all apply that na ngayon uh, electronically. Uh, uh, you don't have to leave your uh, house now. Um, you can call kung sino komportable ka. Mayroon kami hotline na pwedeng ibigay kung paano gawin lahat electronically. Or you can call your branch manager. Pwede kanya tulungan. Uh, so lahat yon pwede mo na gawin uh, without going to the bank uh, as long as you have an account already. And then we can, um, we can even... Implemented for you, yung medyo mas sophisticated, yung auto credit to other banks, etc. We have support uh, online to help you and train you on how to do all of those uh, so, without you leaving your house. Galeng, galeng. So, removing the red tape, the protocol, etc. for this one, kaya. John? Can... Uh, uh, well, we can electronically uh, re um, uh, make it faster. Okay. Uh, of course, you do have to have some forms to sign, etc. But we can do that electronically now. Because, uh, okay. these are services that you have to to avail and sign up for. Uh, but you have to go to the bank to sign up for it. Galing, galing, galing. So, ano, summarize lang natin. Yung mga tao may, yung mga members namin, members or fellow entrepreneurs na may account na sa security bank na hindi pa, uh, hindi pa digitalized, you can digitize uh, you can make it digitize, digitize it through just by calling your bank manager or your yeah. bank representative very good okay. yes kung kalino kayo so pa, yes clear. then we will we'll, uh, help you do that mm. Ronnie, very clear and of here. course hindi pa huli kung wala wala kayong account and then you want to avail of the services uh, then you can open an account and Un unfortunately uh, you have you just have to do it one time you have to go to the bank to open the account kasi uh, alam mo naman sa requirements ng central bank yung KYC ba know your customer and then uh, you can set it up all there na then go home and then do your transactions uh, online I see I see great great may malalaman natin kung pwede lumabas para magbukas ng banko so I we got some uh, materials from the DILG PNP papayagan. So, mamaya natin may ikita. Masige po. Okay. Thank you. Okay. At maraming salamat. So, that means to say the challenge na binibigay ng Security Bank to Jones is a uh, digital transformation. Pwede nyo magawa ngayon, no? And uh, the your journey can start now. Siyempre kasi online lahat. So, they're now, they have now processes that can embrace yung mga compliance sila na kailangan personal lagi except na opening of the account. Pero yung digitizing operation, your credit and debit, uh, pwede na magawa to security. Yes, yes. Okay, maraming salamat, Jones. Okay, so, I think, uh, George, malaking tulong itong gagawin nila, pinubuksan uh, ng security bank na pwede tayong mag-digitize as we plan and then we can collaborate. We, we have to digitize our operations, kahit yung banking part or yung accounting part, di ba? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, uh, that's very important itong input ni John no, sa atin. No? Uh, marami pa rin mga tao, katulad ko, na hindi masyado naniniwala sa digital, <laughs> digital city, ano, yung, uh, ito, So, uh, uh, what you call this? Digitalization banking in, on, oh. on, on banking activities. Isa ako doon. I mean, so, ngayon, nagsisisi ako. Bakit hindi? Oo. Ang mga baby boomers talagang ganun eh. <laughs> Umuutang ako sa anak ko eh. Can you pay this guy for delivery? I'll just pay you pagkatating na normal na tayo. Ayan. Anyway. Okay. Uh, so, for the, the first part of our segment, uh, they, they, for the benefit of our audience, we've heard the big uh, help na ginagawa nito dalawang malaking kumpanya, which is uh, connectivity, and assurance of their availability, no? So, di kayo dapat mangamba. At nirecommendan nila na number one, mag-plan at mag-collaborate on the part of Globe at on the part of security, do your journey now on digital transformation. Okay. 
So George, ready na tayo yung, yung sa mga iba pang solutions. Yung mga hindi, ngayon palang sasabihin nila na ito ang dapat nilang gawin. At ito yung mga coming from the digital services vertical, no? Yes. At uh, papakilala na natin sila. Pero bago ang lahat, pabatiin muna natin yung mga tao, no? So, dito sa FB, Royland Plaza, Cez Porto, Marnel Duco, Christian Manuel, Jom Sabok, Norlin Baviera, David De Los Santos, Toto Jaime, uh, Regina Beto Pasio, Ervic, Maya Ervic, Macrio Lalas, Gertrudez Espinosa, and Rhea Buller, Ray Malia, Malate, and uh, may question pa nga sila, but we will ask the questions later on our third segment na lang, no? JT Solis, Jennifer Vistada, Paulino Pulas, Jam Jam, <laughs> Emerson Mercado, Will and Ma is on the line, ha? Huh? Masuki! And Anna Cuneta. <laughs> Ang dami, hindi ko na matapos, eh, no? Shout out. <laughs> Ay, Robin Rafael is there, and uh, siyempre. Okay, so yun na muna, mamaya sa pagbabalik namin. So, at this point in time, we will now open our segment number two. We're in, we will now provide uh, the platform to the digital services members. At uh, I would like to call on Carlo Calimon, representing the startup community. And Jerry Ilo, representing the Librepreneur Community. Maganda umaga, Carlo. Good morning. Maganda umaga, Ay, everybody. Ating, uh, hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. This universe question. No? <laughs> <laughs> so... Diba, the start, it happens so much, so urgent, bigla, and uh, it's now on its 10 day. Ano ba yung mga contingent measures na you have adopted for yourself, family, and hindi pwede makalimutan for your community and any commitment you promised them? All right. Uh, happy, you, uh, happy you asked that question, ano, Rolly. No? Um, in fact, kapag katitingnan natin yung nangyari sa atin um, over the past week, uh, ang daming pagbabago na nangyari. In fact, yung mga pagbabagong yan, eh, we were forced into it, right? We had no choice. So, ano nangyari sa atin last week? Uh, we were forced to react to the situation. Why? Because wala eh, wala kang choice. You, ha- you have to continue with life. You have to adapt to the situation, right? And the thing that happened was, and it, this is an indication of what's gonna happen to us moving forward is um, things are gonna change right uh things are gonna change and they will continue to change and that's okay right and it forces everybody to to look into new things and to try new things also um in fact uh we've heard stories about last week since we were adapting to the situation uh and dami nung mga hindi digital biglang na forced to go into digital like sabi ni george diba hindi siya fan masyado sa online at sa digital Pero isa siya sa mga nanguna sa, ano, sa mga yeah. online forum last week, di ba? So nakakatawa. Kung uh, unti-unti si George, artista si George. Uh, pero beyond that, diba? napanggit din kanina ni Ann at saka ni, ni Jones na maraming digital tools na biglang ginagamit natin from productivity tools like Slack, uh, Asana, and so on. And at the same time, communication tools to allow us to communicate with our people like Zoom, uh, Google Hangouts, you have Amazon Chime. Uh, then but surely because of the situation, we are gaining some comfort into it. Um, I remember a story last week, di ba, George? Uh, even si Miss Tess, di makulangan na sobrang hindi techie. Uh, ginagamit niya for her accounting services ang Zoom at saka ang... So, tam baby boomers dati na sobrang... Uh, uh, averse sa technology, all of a sudden adapting into it. Now, hindi na naman sa trabaho. Even dun sa daily na pangangailangan natin, nag adjust na rin tayo, right? So, because 
people started using online delivery platforms like GrabFood, uh, Lalamove, even uh, other services like Metro Mart and so on. Uh, ngayon, na-experience naman natin, backlog naman. So many people are using them all of a sudden that they are not able to, to adjust because of the inflow. Uh, yeah. Entertainment-wise, we need to get entertained also. People have been watching uh, more Kumu or, or Netflix, uh, or people are watching a lot of the news online also. But at the same time, tulad na nasabi, uh, banking is also very important during this time. So instead of going to the physical branches, a lot of our friends, including uh, Security Bank, are offering also online banking. Yung mga hindi nag online banking, George, kailangan ka na oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> You need to start enrolling your bills, uh, preparing your, your bank transfer skills, and so on. Why? Because it's easier since we cannot go out. Eventually, you know, this type of behavior in all of us will change the way we move and act moving forward. Kaya nga sabi ko nga, last week was a period of re uh, reaction. This week naman, since we're, we've adapted, we've adjusted, right? We gain more comfort. So, kumbaga parang yung, yung dati natin na kagawian, unti-unti part na, na ng ng buhay natin. And, uh, and that goes also for our so if this conversation before um, how do we adjust? How do we change? And how do we now live after all of this happens? I know we feel that this is going to take longer than we expected. go back right and prepare for what happens after also we have to reflect about reinventing our organizations right and i know it's a challenge um we've 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 built something as entrepreneurs as as business people we built something and now we're facing a major challenge and uh it can be difficult it can be frustrating Pero sabi nga namin sa mga conversations, di ba? as entrepreneurs, uh, we always look at the positive, right? Uh, we always look at the opportunities. So we did it before, so it shouldn't stop us from doing it again, right? And why are we doing it again? Because at the end of the day, it's all about giving value to our customers and to our, to our people. Now, technology will play a very big part in it, right? Now, when we talk about technology, we just we don't have to think about it na parang, oh, puro high-tech na lang. No. Technology can come in different forms, right? And that is all about uh, being more innovative in our daily lives, right? We need to be more innovative in, in the way we act moving forward. Now, sabi nga, the third part is really about evolution already um, because, like what we said, Things have changed and it will continue to change. Um, before, I remember George, you would uh, you would always post yung mga sa Facebook mo when you're doing product development and trying something new, new concepts. That is our hat as entrepreneurs because we need to make sure that there is always something new, right? Pero yes. dati parang it's part of our you know, a, a lot of the entrepreneurs we procrastinate, meaning. Uh, then next time na natin isipin yan kasi gumagana pa naman now eh, right? Pero now, because we're in this situation, we are now being forced to innovate. Why? Because our businesses have to evolve in preparation for what's going on now and at the same time with what's gonna happen tomorrow, meaning the future. When this is all over, and as I mentioned, the whole landscape has changed Meron na tayong initial na tools na ginagamit, right? We're adapting to these tools, but these are tools to help us. But what's next for our respective businesses? That's the next question. So that's why we need to innovate uh, about what goes on next. Um, just to share with everybody, I, I remember last Saturday lang, pinalabas yung, ano, yung movie, The Current War. 
Thomas Ed. I, I appreciated it because these were innovators and industry movers who were inventing new things. And throughout the process, they reinventing, right? Obviously, iba-iba silang sitwasyon. But the challenges that these situations gave them forced them to invent the same fashion as entrepreneurs. And how do we do that? Araw, minsan naka-zoom tayo, naka-conference call tayo. We're always in touch with our our people wherever they are, but they're working to encourage them also to do. Hello. Hello. Wala, nawala. Nawala siya. Ah, nawala oh. si Carla. I think nawala that, si Carla. I, that uh -huh. I will uh oh, am I gone? Hello? Okay. Hello? Am I back? I are back. Yeah, Hello, uh well, well okay, dun sa mga nasabi mo, we just want to ask two things. So number one, uh, for the startup community, has this been a challenge to them? Kasi most of you are tech-based, no? Feeling ba nila, ang motto nila is, now is the time. Mas lalo na yung proposition so that we can be of better help. And pangalawa, for all the applications yeah. you've mentioned, can you tie it up on a tactical consideration na what are the things that they can use for a particular activity so that uh, the public will now be cleared of this specific activity? Yes. Um, to answer the first question, actually, I was about to get into that uh, before I disappeared, siguro, is that um, we should try working with the startup today, right? As organizations, as entrepreneurs, bakit? because the startups, diba, they're, they're coming up with these new innovations, something new. Right, that we didn't really take a look at before. But if you would look at it, a lot of the startups are trying to help change the way we are doing things today. Like what I said, yung mga bagong startups dyan that are helping with the logistics side, sila peer with Insight SES. We have friends uh, who are doing farm-to-table solutions like Zagana, sila, sila Josh, uh, who can do deliveries directly from the farm to your homes. Um, these are solutions that are helping us on a daily basis. Being entrepreneurs, right? Young, young entrepreneurs, startups, right? So we let's take the, take advantage of taking a look outside of our regular walls and seeing uh, what these new startups can do. Marami pong bago na ginag that our organizations can collaborate with, right? To, for continuity of our respective businesses moving forward, yung mga na-mention ko, right? Pang-araw-araw po na tools yan. Whether it's Slack, whether it's Zoom, whether it's Google Hangouts, whether it's Amazon Chime. These solutions, these tools will help us maintain productivity, monitor our people moving forward. But the challenge that I want to give is really about... Uh, creating these new solutions for ourselves also. It's one thing to adapt to digital technology. It's another thing also to create technology from our organizations. And I think that this is a time to actually do it. Actually, Anayan, actually for everybody, it's a new learnings. Uh, it's going to be, it's, it's a, like evolve, like evolve. There was a, there was a evolution of new norms. Um, tama yung sinabi ni Carlo, no? last week we are reacting to the situation. Reacting that we're scared, reacting that we, we are confused. Uh, after this week, siguro, we are now in the realization. We're trying to realize what's happening to us. 
and then maybe later on is adapt we adapt to these things already pero para lumalabas it's a new norm we are looking at it the is. new norm the new beginning again so we need to reboot that's as uh, i heard yesterday um uh, donald donald lee sabi yeah, there's no four piece now eh survival is uh, no, eh? it's the key now eh? you throw away the five piece of marketing now <laughs> sabi niya throw away so sabi niya ito yun eh this is it eh this is a new beginning eh uh experts will learn from this and uh they can now create a a new risk management in the future because this is something and new i think george to add to that to let us know because we we've reacted we come to a realization of the situation and we've adapted but how do we evolve from the situation moving forward right and that is the time when innovation as you know will come in right we have the dig the technology we have digital solutions that are present uh that we can use but at the same time we look at outside our organizations to the startup community to see what's there that can actually allow us to evolve with the changing times yeah so I, i think that that's something that we all have to consider at this point beautiful yes. beautiful um oh Si Ann, Ann, Ann. Uh, Ann, Ann. Nandito pa si Ann ng Globe? Okay. Uh, Balikan natin so, si Ann, George, no? Ann, Ann, Ann. Ann, with this happening, with these new norms happening around us, na uh, nakikita natin that... Uh, Digital, uh, digitalization is now playing a big role in our society. What can GLOBE really do to really help the, the, the sector, the industry? Well, um, as mentioned, meron talaga, yung essential na investment at this point, di ba, is internet. And um, siguro what I'd like to share sa lahat ng mga negosyante ngayon or business owners would be do not be afraid to invest on technology at this point. Siguro realization niya ng, mar- ng marami ngayon na sayang hindi ko to natutunan or sayang hindi ko to ginawa. But I think this is the best Aray. time to um, uh. learn something new. Um, the good thing is Um, Globe, my business, has been an advocate for the MSME, di ba? So, meron kaming um, site like OLEARN, meron rin kaming Globe, my business academy. So, you might want also to visit for tips. Meron kami doon nilabas na tips, for example, if you're working from home. An example, of course, kunari, dapat um, sa, sa sinare ko kanina, araw-araw, you have to wake up at the same time, every day, di ba? Para lang may semblance ka ng pag ng office hours mo, right? And dapat maging hyper-available ka to anyone. Kasi ang nangyayari ngayon, wala tayong time to engage or interact face-to-face. So technology is the best partner at this point so that you can really engage with your customers, with your employees, with your um, co-workers, business partners. Kasi uh, ang nawawala ngayon talaga is the interaction, di ba? Human interaction. But nevertheless, um, technology should help businesses thrive, not only survive. So yun talaga, parang if there's anything, please start um, talking to your business partners and um, really consider investing on the right technology. So kami naman, um, we made it accessible. Um, in fact, we've recently launched our digital shop. If you can please visit, um, so ito lang, I'll just mention lang ha, so it's it's http glb, glbe.co slash mybizshop. If you need um, anything from mobile or broadband connectivity, and you can call one-to-one. So andito naman kami, as mentioned, um, our operation is open. Uh, please call us, talk to us if there's anything you need. Sana an kung kayo ano an sana may program kayo to hmm. entice to entice uh, to help those uh, traditional uh, businesses like the groceries to go digital um, I think we should learn from this pain
point na nakukuha natin yung irritants na yun. Uh, kasi like uh, mga groceries natin, they're not really into it. Okay? Uh, with, with, a, with, a, with a lead group, okay, that will lead them or will, will create an infrastructure for them. Enable. Like, and I think we can enable them, no? So, maganda rin sana kung, uh, this is just an input that Globe can do that, no? Uh, together with Carlo Kalimon of Startup Village, di ba? Yeah. You can, you can really help them. Tumawag ka ngayon, ang hirap ngayon kumuha na, ano, grocery. And, I mean, imagine, this is the time na dapat doble kita nila. <laughs> Oo, di ba? Kaya lang, again, they're not really equipped. Yes. Yeah. Will do. Thanks, George. Oh. It's a good Carlo. input, George. Okay. Let's call on our board no. resource person, Jerry Ilaw, and representing the Lipreneur community, the, the different corporate people who became entrepreneurs. Jerry? And hi, Rolly. Hi, President George. Hi, Carlo. Morning. Good morning. Morning, Jerry. Yes. <laughs> morning. Okay. So how are you now? And what's your initial response to this uh, overall situation? Yeah. Um, actually, sabi nga kanina, di ba, nabigla tayo lahat. But uh, the good thing actually is I think people are adjusting. So um, yung work from home kanina uh, na mentioned, we're not, we're not in, uh, doing work from home before, But now we are actually doing it. Um, all our staffs now, our employees are working from home. And feeling ko, actually, mas, mas magiging productive ngayon that we are all working from home. We have a daily routine. Oh. Uh, in, we set up our Viber group na in the morning. Yeah, we say hi lang, kumusta, paramdam. And then uh, they, uh, we ask them to email their kumbaga, to-dos for the day. So supposedly, ginagawa siya even without this. Pero... Minsan nakakalimutan, but after, because of this, um, yun, nagiging ano siya, kumbaga standard. So they email us what we need to do in the, in the morning, uh, uh, anong mga kailangan ng tapos ito up today, and then what, uh, at the end of the day naman, what we have accomplished. And then throughout the day, we do meeting, uh, Zoom or via Google Hangouts, and then it's you know, mas, mas productive na yun. <laughs> Supposedly, ginagawa siya about this, pero yeah. um, And Rolly, if I may, about um, siguro yung, yung e-learning, no? Um, the, can, can I uh, share about the e-learning? Question. Actually, I was about to get into that. Uh, at the end of the day, yeah, so, yeah, so, Rolly, I, I want to share about um, e-learning as well for, for employees. We've tackled about the different technologies, right, that, that they can use. Um, but actually, yung e-learning is a good way for, for companies to teach their employees. Now, we small, most of the employees now are at home and but it's a good time to build the, the capability of your team uh, because often times uh, we take things for granted diba? dahil busy tayo sa mga skills po natin, sa API or kaya mga other things that we need to deliver on a day-to-day -day basis but um, if you look at it this is a perfect time to do trainings uh, to build the capability of your team because whatever we are experiencing now, we know that Siyempre, this will end. And hopefully, when uh, this ends, we are 100% capable, diba? 100% ready to really bounce back and, and um, make our business strong again. So, um, ito, perfect opportunity to. Um, some may have, kumbaga, qualms about e-learning in the past. We've been promoting e-learning in the past years and minsan, Effective bayan, hindi, etc. But I guess you're experiencing it now, di ba? Sa mga nanonood, tanong ko sa inyo, are you learning? Di ba? In this Afi Empower Forum has been uh, ongoing. It's the sixth episode. So all these times, are you learning? Are you getting something? Uh, are you getting value from it? And if your answer is yes, pwede ba comment kayo kung na, na tututo kayo sa ating forums, mga online forums ng AFI and ULEARN. So kung natututo kayo, this is actually a perfect example of e-learning. And 
as you can see, it's as effective as face-to-face -face training. So, pwede niyong gamitin yung mga ganitong technologies to build the capability of your team. And, yan, uh, let's make the most out of this uh, situation that we are in now. Rolly? Yeah, I think, um, yeah, Rolly. Nawala si Rolly. Nawala si Rolly, but I think he's back now. Uh, natin. Yan, wala pang audio si Rolly. <laughs> wala pang audio si Rolly. Uh, but, uh, sige. Pero ang ganda, no? Carlo, Carlo. Carlo, may mga nagtatanong. Uh, since you're the point man, sa mga platform na Lala yes, Move, George. Lala Move, it's, um, Grab, etc. Um, baka we can coordinate with them. Yung mga ibang retailers or stores, baka pwede na expedite yung being, ano, uh, to be part of the Lala Move at saka Grab. Battery, no? Yan, yeah, nawala din si Carlo, uh, Sir Joel. Wala eh. Oo. Oh. Oh, Carly, diba? Yeah, and... and uh, okay, so... Antay natin si Carlo bumalik, no? Pero wala, uh, waiting for him. And uh, uh, so, ano ba yung pwedeng i-over ng O-Learn ng mga technology solutions, right, at this point in time? Yeah, uh, for O-Learn, we have uh, e-learning courses. Um, we've been uh, kumbaga, collaborating with a lot of organizations. So, of course, first and foremost, AFI, uh, we've been uh, yan, powering up yung online learning forum uh, called AFI Empower Forum ng AFI. So, we've done that since last week. Uh, the other week pa pala, yun. Tapos, um, also, uh, last, yesterday, we had our... Uh, PMA naman na forum. Tapos we also have O-Learn Live, uh, which we do every 8 p.m. So basically, O-Learn Live, it's a free service then. Uh, we're featuring yung mga talks ng first ever virtual business summit in the Philippines that we did Galing. March 3 and 4. Before all of these things happen, kasi nga we're promoting online learning. So we did a virtual business summit uh, March 3 and 4. So we had 20 speakers uh, back then and iba-ibang topics on uh, HR, sales and marketing, management strategy, as well as innovation and technology. So yeah, nire-replay namin yan every 8 p.m. po. Uh, if you want to subscribe, just go to www.olearn.com slash live para yun, and, notify you. So Jerry, sana you can also host our Friday radio show yung The Angel Penor together with Father Lucas and Master D. Pax Lapid. Uh, yes. Join us. Sana you can host us this Friday uh, para tere-terecho lang. Okay? Yes, so, of course. It would be my honor. Ay, thank you so much. Oh, 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 Dean Pax Lapid, if you're listening, um, Jerry agreed to to carry our radio show uh, dito sa kanyang sa O-Learn. Wow, oh, very good. Thank you, thank you, Jerry. Ah. Thank you. May mga questions yata tayo. Oh. So, uh, eh, well, may mga questions na babasa nyo ba? So we can ask them on air. But uh, we like first to greet si Ma Ma Madam Tess di Makulangan. Uh, she's learning, she said, no? And Ruben Tolentino, there's learning new methods and watching from QC, Ray Marvin Baldon Bermoy, Farmer John. Okay, so. Uh, Richard and, Torres. Uh, Richard Torres watching. Yeah. Okay. Bell uh, Dijos, learning also. Miss Galang from Tarlac. Come sa po kayo sa Tarlac. Okay. So you, you may read the questions, George, uh, that you can see on the Facebook Live. You can see one. Okay. Marami, marami, marami question. <laughs> we can now open our uh, forum to uh, Q&A from the public. 
Ayo, nag uh, nag nagreact na si Mr. si Dr. Dean Pax Lapid. Uh, Angel Penur program nationwide under or learn. God is good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Dean Pax. Okay. So, uh, Jerry, ano to ah uh, after i-air natin sa Friday, ibabato to ng ni Father sa 57 radio stations nationwide. Uh, wow. Nationwide. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Sige. Galing. Well. Uh, galing, galing. So, um, while uh, we're waiting for some questions, I, I'll also introduce pala din our other product in case uh, yung mga viewers natin are interested. So we also have another product called Tarki. So si Tarki is actually an automation tool uh, for field employees. And now ginagamit namin si Tarki because it can do, uh, digitize all the forms out there. Basta any form na meron kayo, whether audit form, sales form, inventory form, um, Yes, we can digitize it and actually it's been helpful for us because it also has timekeeping, itinerary with selfie and GPS plus yan, uh, digital form. So you can use it for asset deployment, service report, ordering, inventory, etc. and monitoring your employees. So that's also another product and we have... Uh, created then a special package for MSMEs given this situation para mas yun matake advantage niyo yung mga uh, digital tools that we have yes actually okay. tama si ano si uh, si Jerry um it's it's the right time to try something new di ba total di ba we're, we're at home we're we're cooped up and we're trying to you know do work as much as we can but it's also a good time to to validate and try something different, di ba? Total controlled circumstances naman natin. Wala naman mawawala kung sumubok, sumubok tayo ng bago. So, on my end naman, um, if you want to learn how, you know, startups can help you or if you need help finding a startup that can help you make things easier and more efficient, just send me a message uh, through Startup Village or Startup Village page. No? And I'll be happy to connect you with the startups that can really help you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you, the, the biggest uh, support of uh, Startup Nation is uh, collaboration. No, they're, they're available with the uh, startup members of the community, and uh, we can do something new. And for Jerry, he has done it. Uh, he has ex experimented virtual summit, and so it's now high time to support it, and then we can now learn the new ways of doing things. Yeah. If there's one lesson lang, I think I mentioned it, pero underscore ko lang, because a lot of people are afraid to use new technologies. And now we are forced to, diba? we are forced to use yeah. uh, new technologies like yun, mga Zoom, etc. Actually, hindi na naman sila new, but yun nga, people are not used to it. So if there's one lesson siguro na gusto kong i-share sa, sa lahat ng nanonood, it's not as scary as you think, okay? <laughs> Kasi minsan natatakot tayo to use new technology, but now we realize, oo, oh, oh, my learning curve, oo, oh, oh, kailangan mo probably arali ng konti, a few hours, a day, max, pero after that, you realize that it's more efficient to use technology. It can really help your business. So it's not as scary as you think. So sabi nga ni Carlo, try out uh, new technologies. It's a perfect time. Agree, Jerry. Actually, the technology solutions have been there for the longest time, but it's, it's the it's public new technology who's not accustomed in embracing it, and their upgrades come, whatever, and uh, it's now high time for them to take their start their journey and then make the first step, and then transform. Sabi nga nila, sabi ni Carlo, di ba? No? So adapt, evolve, and then create. Do something new for your company and for yourself. Yeah. I think, Rolly, we have a question here from uh, Aimi. Uh, okay. Let me see where we, yeah, we can bring in... Uh, security Bank. Yeah, Security Bank. Uh, okay. So, question now for Security Bank. Does the online payroll system uh, supplier... Uh, payment system allow the usual approval system like staff repairs them and then the manager will approve so um, is that uh, is that 
Yes, that's that's pretty standard for your security. So, iseset natin um, per company ninyo kung sino yung uh, prepare, sino yeah. yung approver, class A, class B, class C, class D, lahat yun, kaya natin. Uh, so, we basically follow your board resolution uh, or kung ano yung uh, ano nyo, signing limits uh, per, uh, uh, per, per uh, uh, approver. Yeah. I think that's good that kasi minsan yun yung fear ng mga entrepreneurs eh, na pag gumamit ang digital baka they lose control of of the approval process and yan uh, as Jones mentioned nandun yeah. lahat yung mga controls. That's a, that's a normal uh, normal ano yun, apprehension ng mga tao na hindi sanay sa ganun but what we basically uh, what what we're basically telling you is that it will just mirror what you do manually and physically so parehong pareho yun hindi magiiba um, John, John. Uh, it just it will give you the flexibility to work to work from home yes uh, will you accept a uh, uh, soft copy or digital copy of a board resolution um, now we are doing that uh, for the moment kasi nga mahirap yung ating uh, physical distancing uh, issues. So uh, uh, that to be technical about it but we'll, we'll give you parang lang uh, uh, another document uh, to sign which is basically instructing us to um, get your instructions by, by email, by scan, etc. But yes, uh, uh, we're doing that now. That's a great news. That's a great news. Malaki tulong yun para sa mga nakikinig na may mag ano, na may account sa inyo. Thank you, thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Maganda rin tong snack. Oy, uh, sorry, nag-miss yung isang question. Uh, I think they, they were worried about the security of the platform. Yes. Uh, ayan, uh, from uh, Dian. Uh, siguro the fear comes from our digital infrastructure, security of the information inside the digital platform. Form. It's always uh, concerned by uh, our clients and uh, the Banco Central make sure, uh, especially when they audit each bank, uh, pati yan chinecheck nila. So uh, we are very um, uh, mindful of that, um, lalo na ngayon in this age uh, in terms of yung nanakawin yung personality mo online, iti take over yung account mo. So we are very, very... Uh, uh, watchful on that. So our technology uh, and security changes a lot also uh, to keep up with fraudsters. Marami yata ang layers okay, of security. So, Lapas yung level. Ha? Apo. George? Uh, marami yata ang layers of security ang mga banko. Eh. Uh, first layer pala, nag-alarm yan kagad sa sa, sa telepono. Eh. Excuse me. Sa telepono. Tama ko yun. Joke ko yun. Correct, correct, correct. So, yun. So, iba-ibang layers of security, iba hindi nyo nakikita. And then, uh, tama yung tanong kanina ni Amy, yung approval process. So, that's one type of security. And then, in the background, of course, uh, 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 lahat ng payment platforms ngayon, dapat may security ka to check ng uh, authenticity, uh, wala ba nag-hack, etc. So, that's all in place. Okay. Okay. So, maraming salamat. So, I think that second segment is very helpful. Maraming nagsasabi, they're learning a lot from us. And uh, these are the recommended te technology solutions in the midst of isolation for us to find out that we are all connected. <laughs> galen, 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 galen. Okay, so for our third segment, we'd like to call our speakers to be available on the camera all together. George, <laughs> but we'll be here with our voices so that uh, we'll ask them for their outlook. So we'll ask them a trigger question. Are they on already? Um, yeah, Alice Muna Kami, uh, Rolly. Yeah. Yeah. Jerry, Carlo. Ann and Jones. Yeah, yeah. 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 we we are I uh, know we can hear you. So we'll uh show the, the one that will answer. Okay. So for this third and concluding segment, we like I would like you to give advisory, general advisory words, but maybe coming from yourself, from your company, or from for the industry, or tips 
to our general online public now. So after this forum, and given your present ECQ situation, how do you now define or what is now your stand, what you believe in as a business leader, as a company head, and as a humankind member given the state of this COVID-19 with the accelerating ECQ? Kasi bukas baka mag-aalang sa mga presidente dahil natapos na yung Senate, ay yung Congress deliberation, di ba? And uh, as our means to overcome this pandemic. Any general advisory words or tips to our online public? We'll start with Anne. Okay, so um, thanks to the uh, to my other co-speakers, no Jerry, of course, Carlo. Parang ang ang talagang gusto namin share is that technology is not something that dapat natatakot tayo to invest on. It's something that that's um, important in our lives, especially now. Um, I'd like also to share that though Globe is known to be a connectivity provider, Globe, my business also offers digital solutions. And the good thing is, ang advocacy talaga ng group namin is to help MSMEs understand ano or paano gamitin ang mga technologies na available in the market. Also, um, I'd like to thank, of course, Sir George and Sir Rolly for hosting this. Uh, mabuhay kayo. Um, we really salute the Filipino um, SMEs and Globe My Business is committed to support you all the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You, and then, George, we'll call on Jones. Hi, yeah. All right. Um, uh, I guess from as uh, isang bankero uh, in general, um, ulitin ko lang na do not worry. Um, the banking industry is uh, very very strong. Um, even if this uh, is a, a long term quarantine and we have this issue, uh, the banks will be there to support you. Um, uh, and definitely, Security Bank is ready uh, for a, a long haul uh, condition like this. Um, and wag po kayong mahihiyang tumawag. Alam nga po namin, maraming nahihirapan mag-adapt. Uh, uh, Sir George, tawagan mo ako separately through ang kita. Uh, yes, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, ganun lang po, kung kanino kayo komportable tumawag sa branch manager ninyo, kilala nyo yung uh, bankero, uh, or kahit sa call center, mag-email kayo. Uh, marami pong uh, produkto uh, wide ranging po yan from an SME, from a single proprietor to very large corporations. Uh, we adapt to that and um, uh, pag kolekta ninyo ng pera, pag disburse ninyo ng pera, uh, lahat ng cash flow ninyo kaya natin tulungan papano gawing mas uh, uh, efficient at mas electronic. Um, uh, and ginagwardyahan po namin yan ng aming security uh, uh, secured platforms para um, kampanti kayo na uh, walang mangyayari sa pera ninyo. Um, this, uh, these services have been there for a long time. Nasabi na yan kanina. Uh, just take advantage of it. Uh, the banks are uh, very, very uh, willing to help you on that. So good luck to us all. And um, uh, if you need uh, uh, us as a resource again uh, to talk about anything about the banks, uh, let us know. We're here to help uh, you anytime. So maraming salamat po. Salamat, 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 Salamat. Okay, we can we, we will now hear from Carlo. Uh, first of all, uh, maraming salamat ulit sa ating mga kaibigan sa AFI, sa OLEARN for hosting this, this session. Um, I think that moving forward, tulad na sabi ko kanina, uh, we all need to evolve. And let's take this opportunity to, to evolve our respective organizations because at the end of the day we need to adapt to what's going on around us and the changes that will happen to all of us tomorrow right um with that in mind try to innovate internally but at the same time look at a startup because a startup might be already doing it and they can help you uh, evolve much much faster so once again maraming salamat thank you also to our friends from the banking sector security bank even globe and all the telcos who are providing us with all of these services amidst what is going on so that we ourselves can continue on living our lives or at, at least 
try to adapt to the situation. So maraming salamat also to our frontliners who are also working uh, with us out there. Okay, maraming salamat, Carlo. And lastly, from Jerry. Uh, yes, uh, thank you so much, um, Rolly and President George. Uh, as you know, Yon Si Afi has been the first one to introduce the digital forums, um, and Yon O-Learn has been supporting that because we want to share uh, that e-learning is actually a, a better way of um, yon, uh, doing our business, training employees, etc. Um, and siguro yun lang yung gusto kong sabihin na technology is here to make things easier. So maraming natatakot to use new technologies, uh, but it's actually here to make things easier, not not uh, ubusin yung hair cell, uh, brain cells nyo, etc. or takutin kayo. Hindi po, technology is here to make your operations more efficient, uh, Yan, to help you grow your business. So napakaraming technology po ang available. Um, and if you're wondering kung meron bang technology gusto kong gamitin to, siguro sinagot yun ni Apple. And anong sagot ni Apple? There's an app for that. Okay, so ang kailangan mo lang si Google, yung friend natin, yan lang yung um, kailangan mong uh, tingnan. Just Google it and most probably that technology is available and you can use it. Okay, so yan lang po, uh, like phones, di ba? Maraming mga natatakot before, gamitin yung phones. Pero ngayon, it's ubiquitous, di ba? Lahat ay gumagamit ng phones. So yung mga technology na to available to, to help us uh, make our business more efficient and to help us grow our business. So wag pong matakot, uh, gamitin natin yung technology. Okay, maraming salamat, Jerry. Ang gusto ko lang madalian, shout out kay John Chung, nanonood, no? Hindi ko siya nabanggit ka rin na. At syempre, may surprise tayong nanonood. Richie Kuna is watching. Hello, brother Hi, Richie. Hi, Sir Richie. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, I'd like to ano, acknowledge our two past president, no? Uh, past president, John Chung. Thank you so much for watching. One of the founder, my fellow founder, Richie Kuna and past president. Thank you for hey, watching. Hello. <laughs> you. Yung founder din ng Bounce Back, uh, si Jason, uh, kanina nag-shout nag out. So, thank you so much, uh, Jason, for uh, tuning in. Okay. So, maraming salamat sa lahat natin mga resource person. Kay Ann ng My Glow My Business, kay Jones ng Security Bank, kay Carlo ng Startup uh, Village, at kay Jerry ng Olerin. At then, Jeffrey, we, we want some public announcements. Uh, George, do you have something for Avi? Okay, uh, before we end this uh, podcast, uh, again, I'd like to uh, to give thanks to the following person, no? Yung mga importante uh, tao sa buhay natin, mga entrepreneur, no? I'd like to thank uh, Secretary Mon Lopez for really being there and working so hard for the entrepreneurs and for the country also. Uh. Then I'd like to take advantage also this one, is to, to, to say thank you to our PA, Presidential Advisor, Joey Concepcion. These two, ladies and gentlemen, itong dalawa po nito ay isang instrumental po sila para ipaglaban ang ating mga kailangan ng mga maliliit na negosyante. No? So again, let's pray for them and let's thank them. Okay, Let's continue praying to our medical workers sa front line. Please, they need our prayers. Okay, If we can help, let's help them. And then of course, I'd like to thank the people behind this, behind this, all of this. No, uh, it was just an idea that naging naging norms, naging <laughs> naging kultura na ng api. No, uh, it was an idea how to react to this crisis. Now we are now on our tenth day with our sixth or fifth podcast. Um, this is a service to our members. This is a service to our fellow entrepreneurs. We will try our best to really deliver. Sa AFI po, lahat po tayo sama-sama. Sa AFI po, lahat tayo bayani. So please, okay, lahat po tayo sama-sama nating harapin itong pagsubok na ito. Darating rin ang magandang umaga. Okay. Right, yeah. Salamat. Well said, George. At syempre, maghati tayo. No? Babasahin ko yung DOH, babasahin mo yung DILG, mga public service announcements. But before anything, before we read that, well, a shout out kay Joyce Yu at kay Ravi Canare. 
Okay, isa pa mga pillars pa rin behind up. Please, ano, be well, Rafi, be well. And thank you also, Rafi. Thank you also, Secretariat. Yung mga Secretariat natin, yung mga staff natin, nagtatrabaho pa sila, ha? Okay, so Jerry, can we show the public service announcements from DOH muna ako, then DILG si George. Jerry, can we read it? Okay. Hindi ko mabasa. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dito na lang sa boat ko. Okay, I'll be just saying something. No? So. Di lang. Okay, so if you want to DOH announcements, no, ang ating COVID-19 cases as of March uh, 23, 4 o'clock p.m. kahapon ay 462 na. Huwag na natin padamihin pa, stay at home, uh, practice social distancing, and uh, some other things. Okay. And uh, can you hear me? Okay. Hello? Yes, Rolly, we can hear Pending you. Pa ako? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, and DOH, uh, PH, COVID-19 community ng DOH, please join us sa Viber. So, ang, ang kanyang pangalan ay DOH, PH, COVID-19. That's from DOH. At syempre, yung pinahuli nilang mahalaga is ano ang test na maaaring gamitin upang malaman kung ang isang tayo mayroong COVID-19. Dalawa lang, PCR-based method na makukuha nyo sa mga ospital. At yung pangalawa, immunologic method or rapid test kit na hindi pa inaaprobahan ng DOH. Okay, so kung paano gusto nyo magbasa, punta lang kayo sa DOH FB page at malalaman nyo ang maraming Q&A na makakasagot sa inyong mga katanungan about this COVID-19 test. Uh, take away, kay George for the DILG. Sandali lang, wawala yung aking ano, kopya. Okay. Ayan, pinapos yata ni Jerry yung DILG. Can you see George? It's okay. Uh, let's just, uh, Rolly, Jerry, let's just uh, no, uh, skip that. We can uh, we can have that okay. in our post. Uh -huh. um, uh, paalam na tayo. Okay, paalam na tayo. So, well, goodbye words from everybody. Uh -huh. hmm. Simulan natin ulit kay Ann. Uh, So again, I'd like to thank, of course, Sir George, uh, Sir Rolly, maraming salamat sa pag-imbita sa amin. And um, kung gusto nyong matutunan pa yung mga shinare ko kanina, you can call um, our hotline, one-to-one, -one, or visit our digital shop at um, glbe.co slash mybizshop. So andito kami para sagutin rin ang mga tanong nyo about the technologies you need. Mabuhay kayo, mga SMEs. Salamat. Salamat. Jones? There you go. Well, nasabi ko na naman lahat kanina. Uh, ingat lang kayo lahat. Uh, thanks for inviting us here. Um, uh, hindi po masusungit ang mga bankero. Punta po kayo pag may kailangan kayo or tumawag po kayo. Tulungan namin kayo. Salamat po. Okay. And then, Carlo? Uh, once again, maraming salamat uh, for having me. Um, be safe and don't be afraid to try new technology. Ingat po, maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Thanks, Carlo and Jerry. 
Yeah, maraming salamat po for watching. And don't forget, we're doing this AFI Empower Forum every uh, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So watch out sa um, AFI page. Yeah, para makita nyo and you don't miss it. Uh, uh, you don't miss it. And also, I'd like to invite everyone sa aming uh, O-Learn Live every 8 p.m. po yon. Just go to www.olearn.com slash live to uh, subscribe. That is in uh, cooperation with AFI. So maraming salamat po. And uh, Joy, check out one last word. Ha? So, magsenta mo na ako. So, acknowledge the fear, but do it anyway, you know. Get into online and digital because we win not only as one, as one person, but we win as one, as a nation. Okay, and then George, thank you. Uh, thank Final you, Jerry. Words. Thank you, Rolly. Uh, thank you so much. Again, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Again, I hope... Uh, we, we come to our realization, and uh, I hope we accept that this is the new norms, and we will and we should adapt. Yes, we should go. We we should bounce back. We should bounce back with a new heart and with the new norms. So, ladies and gentlemen, maraming maraming salamat po uh, for tuning in and listening to our podcast. Ang api po is here to serve you. Maraming maraming salamat po at magandang umaga. Magandang hap, magandang tanghali sa lahat. Tanghali na pala. Oo. <laughs>